morning Indy Nation. I'm Damana B. Terry, and this is Indy Nation News. And I'm Amaya Dulo, and here's what you need to know as you start your day. On Tuesday, October 24th at 8.45 a.m., FCA at Indy will meet in room 1908B. We are looking forward to seeing you all before the first quarter ends. Friday is the annual faculty student volleyball tournament. Bring $30 cash or wear your Tiger Threads pink shirt, pink week shirt, and get out of class to watch the tournament. Check out your friends as they take on the teachers in an epic battle. All proceeds benefit Lowndes Stepsisters and Fight Against Breast Cancer. Today, we will have the perspectives of the Indy Tiger football players about their game today, reported by INN reporter Amaya Doolittle. Um, I think we just need to stop like the big plays, like I said, and um, just keep like our cool and keep our composure. And as a leader on the team, I, um, I'm gonna try to you know help with a lot of that. And um, this team is gonna—they're very good, so I think it's gonna be—it's gonna be a tough fight. But we just need to stay in there the whole time. Um, just doing the same thing, you know. Just do your assignment, do what you gotta do, and have energy. That's really the main thing. We also have an interview by INN reporter Emma Moser with some of the coaches. Hello. This is Emma Moser, your Indy Athletics Insider, bringing you all the information you need about Indy Athletics. I sat down with Coach Windows to get his perspective on Indy's upcoming game this Friday against Stonebridge. Yeah, I mean, they're a very good, formidable opponent, but I, you know, I think we're prepared well. I think our kids, for the first time um, in the four or five years we've been here, aren't intimidated this year with them. And I think we're gonna go out and give the best op uh, opportunity to win. The kids are gonna fight hard. We've competed, we proved that last week. Um, you know, anything can happen. I, I believe that we've got some talented kids and we're gonna go out and try to do our best to stop them and try to control the ball offensively so they don't, we limit their opportunities. That's all the time we have for today. I'll be back with more information about Indy Athletics. I'm Emma Moser, back to you. Indy Cars and Coffee presents their first car meet with, a, with Porsche. The meet will be on Wednesday, October 25th at the Tennis Court parking lot. Try to get there at 8 a.m. Porsche will bring their cars and goodie bags. Free donuts will be uh, provided. We hope to see you there. Today, we are asking how many IQ points Cassie Cetus has dropped since we last saw him. Find out the answer on this episode of Cassie's Wheel of Tom Fuglery. I want to spin this wheel and win some fabulous prizes. Sure. What's your name? Aaron. All right, Aaron, give this wheel a big spin. Uh, drip check. Time to win. Time to give us a drip check. Alright, this uh, shirt. I got, I got, I got this shirt at a cross country meet. It was about $25. I don't know how much these shorts cost. My mom bought them online for me. These shoes, Air Forces, they're about 100 or so, somewhere over $100. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, socks, probably about 20. Yeah. Thanks for the drip check, Aaron. Thank you. That's all the time we have today for this edition of Indy Nation News. Have a great day, and we will see you back here tomorrow. We leave you always as the Daily Declaration presented without any context or explanation. Bye, Felicia.